This message is being recorded a couple of days before the full moon in January 2024. And while this is a timeless message and it's meant for you whenever it resonates, regardless of when you hear it, I am going to speak to the energies right now that are supporting so many divine feminines in the collective to really open up to their passions and their purpose with a renewed sense of strength, courage, creativity, and freedom. So this is for the Divine Feminine that has really been doing the inner work the last few years and has really been through it. Lots of dark nights of the soul. And I just wanted to state that right now, It is important for you to know that not one moment of your pain or your suffering, not one moment of your journey has been in vain. All of it is getting used for good because now it has allowed you to more fully embody your divine power. But now you're able to share this with the world through your unique message gifts, talents, wisdom, medicine, however that resonates with you. And so right now that creative energy is it's just pulsing through your veins. If if you are feeling this, then you know that this is strong energy. Like you can't deny how powerful this urge is to really go for what really lights you up in your heart and in your soul. And so you're walking away and saying no to things that are no longer resonating with you. You're releasing old attachments and you're able to walk away from things that are feeling stagnant or constricted or restricting you in some way. And you're being called to go for it. You're, you have this renewed energy around your passions and your purpose. And you're being called to really trust your guidance at this point. Trust in the unknown because right now you're kind of in like a no man's land. Like you already know that there are certain things at this point that just aren't in alignment for you. And you're allowing them to fall away. But yet you still don't see what is necessarily going to be manifesting for you like what's the new beginning right the new beginning is still like off into the horizon you can't quite see it yet but you can feel it in your heart you know in your heart you know and you can feel it and this isn't for the mind to figure out this is not a journey of the mind this is a journey of your soul of your heart and your inner knowing can sense what's being ushered into your experience and and you can feel that it's so close you can almost taste it right it's right there but it's not in your experience yet or maybe you're just seeing little inklings of it and you're and you're getting the downloads around it but you're going to be amazed at how much everything shifts for you I often explain this phase to my clients as like you're running a race, a relay race as a metaphor. So, you know, like when you're running in track and you you run your lap and then you pass your baton off to your partner. Well, this relay race that you've been on the last several years, you've been passing the baton off to your next level self. And then you've run another lap. And then you passed it back off to your next level self again. And then you ran another lap. And each lap has its own set of trials and tribulations and dark night of the soul and and ego death and new beginning, which allows you to pass that baton off to your next level self. But clients always find me when they're getting ready to cross the finish line. So eventually, as you're passing this baton off to yourself, you cross the finish line And yes, you still pass the baton off to your next level self, but now it's a brand new race. And so I just wanted to say at this time, there is not one moment of your journey. Just put your hand over your heart for a second with compassion and gratitude for your journey the past several years because it's been 
It's been hell and back for many. Your heart has been shattered wide open. You have lost beyond what you thought you could. And you've grieved deeply. You have allowed so much anger, rage, or sorrow, or pain to surface. And you were courageous enough to sit with it all. You decided that your old coping mechanisms were not going to work for you any longer. And you courageously did the work. And you showed up for yourself time and time again. Even if you had to pick yourself off the floor and figure out how you were going to go about your days, you did. With a smile on your face even, most of your suffering happening behind closed doors that only you would know, you and God, you and the divine. And that's what has given you strength over this period of time with you regaining your strength, you rebuilding, you putting yourself back together again. So with your hand over your heart, this is a moment to give gratitude for each and every moment of your journey because not one little moment of pain or suffering has gone to waste. Not one moment. The deepest, darkest nights of your dark night of the soul, none of them have gone to waste because they have all brought you to where you are now and have brought you into more divine alignment with your true nature and has allowed you to now open up to this path of divine service or divine leadership where you're able to now share your gift, your message, your wisdom, your medicine, your art, whatever it is that resonates with you, with the world. Everything has served you. Everything is used for good. Nothing has been in vain. Nothing goes to waste on this journey. You are a brave soul that decided to go first and lead the way. You are a new paradigm leader. You are a new paradigm leader. Here to shine your light. To shine a light on the shadows. To help others shine a light on their shadows so that they can find their center, find their way home. I often refer to this as a lighthouse effect for my clients. When you think of the lighthouse that shines its light brightly in the darkness, it allows the other ships that are lost to find their way. The lighthouse doesn't have to go out and save anybody. And just like you, when you fully merge with the divine and, and start to live in the flow with your di- divine nature, you begin to shine your light naturally. And this is very activating for those around you. And so just your beingness, just your light energy, just your heart-centered consciousness in your community, with your neighbors, with your family, with your friends, with your colleagues at work, wherever you are, this energy is activating for others around you, whether you know it or not or whether they know it or not. And then others may be called to take a more active form of shining their light. And that may look like spiritual entrepreneurship, maybe starting a soulful practice of some kind, or being a coach or a guide or a way shower or a healer on this journey and making that your your business. Others may be called to share their art in some way. I've worked with singers and painters, authors, speakers, healers. However the divine is calling you is perfect for you. So it is a brave soul that takes on that journey and it is a rewarding journey. And if that's something that does resonate with you, 
then you may want to check out Sacred Leader Academy. And I also have a free mini course called Side Hustle to Soul Empire. And you can find both of those on my main website in the caption below wherever you're listening to this. But I just wanted to summarize this recording with saying and sharing that 2024 is going to be a powerful, powerful year for many. And the more you're willing to embrace the uncertainty and the more you're willing to go for it and the more you're willing to answer the call and the more you're willing to dig deep and align with what your heart truly knows. And that means letting go of what is not in alignment that's operating from healthy discernment of what's really keeping you from fully experiencing your highest potential in this lifetime, what is really disempowering you, what needs to be shed, what needs to be let go of, right? This is a perfect and most powerful, potent opportunity coming up on January 25th for this full moon, but regardless of when you're listening to this, this is always available to you. The full moon is just when these energies are amplified, but you have the power within you. You are the universe. You are all of creation. You are all all of it. You're one with all of it. You don't have to wait. Nothing waits. It's always divine timing for you. It always will be and it always has been. You get to decide whenever you're listening to this if you're willing to let go and release and open to receive what's coming in. So it'll be exciting to hear from, from you if this resonated. I would love to hear what's coming up for you that you can feel and that you know in your heart and what changes or transitions have been happening for you in the previous weeks or months prior to hearing this. I would love to hear from you in the comments. And if you got value from this, please give it a thumbs up and like it. And if you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. I would love to welcome you in to the Divine Femme community. If you would like support on your journey and you're ready to fully claim your divine sovereignty as a divinely worthy woman, I invite you to check out Embody the Empress, which is my divine feminine monthly immersion. You can check out all the details in the caption below this video. And until next time, I hope this finds you well. Namaste.